All right, Art Foundation students. Uh, first off, good morning. I, I, I don't think any of us anticipated that this is gonna be how we were spending, who knows how long we're gonna be out of school. Um, but we're still gonna do some art related stuff. After you've had a chance to pick up all of your supplies from school, I've already gotten a few emails from students saying that they only had five containers of paint in there or that they were able to pick up. And that's all that they were supposed to be. You're supposed to have red, yellow, blue, black, and white. For some reason in the library, they misinterpreted and they thought that uh, everybody was supposed to have six, but as long as you got five, you're good to go. Um, but after you've gathered your supplies, and I know that not everybody has everything yet, so let me give you a fair warning. Don't start anything until I would say Monday, because we've got students that began picking supplies up yesterday. We've got students that are picking supplies up today, tomorrow, Friday, and I don't want a disjointed schedule throughout this, however long we're out of school. So I want everybody to wait. I want you to wait until Monday. But come Monday, the first thing that I want you to take a look at from your kind of big manila folder is this <clears throat> cartoonist sheet. Now I've already posted some completed student samples of them on our Google Classroom. I've also posted a printable copy of this on the Google Classroom as well. So if on the hard copy, if you make a mistake or if you begin coloring or you start outlining things with marker and you think, oh, I don't like the way that this looks, I wanna begin again, print off a new one. If you have a printer, great, if you don't, when you start working on this, I would use a little bit of caution. Now, for this cartoonist, this is autobiographical. So it has to be true and it has to be about you. Many students in the past have, especially fourth semester students, uh, will end up picking something that they did over spring break. Granted, I know that all of our spring breaks have been a little bizarre. So some of you may have gone and done something with your family. You've gone on vacation somewhere. You went and did something fun and exciting. If you want to illustrate that for your cartoon, you are more than welcome. If you didn't do something fun and exciting over this past spring break, pick anything, anything. I wouldn't go too far back in your life, you know, ages one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, because you're probably not gonna have the strongest memory of what you've possibly done over those times, but any kind of fun or exciting experience will do. The first step in all of this is brainstorming. I want you to brainstorm, I want you to figure out Okay, the story that I'm gonna tell, how would I break that story down in the seven boxes that are available? So, this is what the front looks like. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, before you draw anything on this front side, I want you to flip it over and on the back, just like this student did, uh, this student chose to storyboard their idea. And this is the tact or this is the route that I want you to begin with. You've got seven boxes, so I want you to number it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your name at the very, very top. You can see that this one was done by Adam Han. Ha Han. He did a fantastic job with it. What I really appreciated about his storyboard is the fact that not only does he have kind of verbally written out what he wants to portray in each box, but he's also done a small, if you can see that there, you can tell that I'm not used to filming videos, but um, he did a little teeny tiny thumbnail sketch of what he wanted the overall view or the overall image of that space to look like. So he broke his down. Box number one, he's got, let's see if I hold it far enough away, title, the big tournament, Number two, box number two, arriving in the car, getting ready. Box number three, hole number one, first shot. Box number four, hole number two, second shot. Um, number five, rain. Number six, taking cover. Number seven, leaving because the golf tournament was canceled. So storyboard your idea first, but when you storyboard it, you should really think about, okay, 
This is what I'm gonna tell for my entire story. How can I break this down box by box? A lot of students will use one whole box of theirs for their title, like this student did. Uh, my oh so wonderful winter break. Um, this was done by Sydney Dickerson a few years ago. So you could go her route and you could use one box as your complete title or kind of like Sierra Davis did on this, she fit her title within one of her seven illustrated boxes. So back to Adams. Here's the front side. Another option that you're going to have with this is if you want to use text within the box to help kind of narrate that story or, you know, if you've got multiple characters and one is speaking to another, that's the perfect kind of place to use text. But this being an art class, the reason I like cartoons and the reason I like comics is I don't do so well with words. So instead of writing a story, draw your story. If you want to use words, you can, you're more than welcome, but you don't have to. You do not have to. The only place where I'm going to require that you write some things down is the storyboard for yours on the back. So again, first and last name at the very, very top. Break it down box by box. If you would like to use one full box as just the title, that way you only have six boxes to illustrate, completely fine with me. Now, when it comes to the illustrations, no stick figures. No stick figures. I know a stick person is the easiest way to draw a person, but if that's the comfortable route for you after you draw a stick person, and I would practice this on the back side so you can kind of see and figure out what your techniques would be, but after you draw that stick figure, put some clothes on them. Put a shirt, pants, dress, whatever it is. Doesn't matter to me. So it can start as a stick figure, but it cannot end as a stick figure. The other caveat here is it's got to be in full color, full bright color. You can see this is Adams. He did a fantastic job. I love the way that he utilized the blue for the background and the sky, darker at the horizon, lighter towards the top. Of course, Sierra Davis went, uh, or Sienna, sorry, not Sierra. Sienna Davis went above and beyond with her coloring abilities, but this is the kind of expectation that I have out of an Art Foundation student. Sydney Dickerson did a fantastic job with coloring hers. Um, when you color, I want you to use colored pencils. If you would like to use marker, marker you're more than welcome to use to outline certain figures or certain things. Sydney Dickerson on hers used marker to outline her title. She used marker to outline a number of the figures in the boxes, some of the um, labels or logos that are within this as well. So, number one, storyboard, that goes on the back. Number two, lightly, 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 very, very lightly illustrate in pencil every bit of your plan first. And by plan, I mean your storyboard on the front side, as you illustrate your plan, draw very, very lightly. That way, if you make a mistake, you can easily go back in, erase, Bob's your uncle. If you don't know what that means, ask your parents. They may be old enough to understand that reference. So, number one, storyboard, that goes on the back. Number two, lightly illustrate all of your plan, all of your plot on the front side. Number three, when you begin working with color, color it however you feel comfortable. You know, if you don't feel like you are the greatest at using colored pencils, which everybody does fairly well, um, color in your style. You know, if you do a pretty good job or you feel pretty comfortable with colored pencils, just like this student does, then this is what I expect to see from yours. Now, Am I asking that all of you be professional artists by the end of this? No, 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 no. Especially not by the end of the cartoon. But I do expect you to apply yourself. So if you are 
one that feels not quite competent with colored pencils, then on the back side of this, right next to your storyboard, maybe down in, in the margin or wherever you've got some spare space, do a little bit of shading. Um, I know there are a lot of things in your folder, so I want you to go wherever I'm telling you to go in terms of the paperwork that's in there. So we're starting with the cartoonist. Once the cartoonist is maybe a, a day into it, so maybe starting next Tuesday, we're gonna take a look at your painted color wheel. I know I put a video a few days up on our Google Classroom of me painting the color wheel, but I decided to get rid of that. I'm breaking it down. I'm gonna post maybe later today or tomorrow if you wanna watch the video ahead of time. Uh, you'll, you'll be more than welcome, but over the next couple of days, I'll post a little more of a broken down version of how to paint this. So, don't start anything yet today. Don't start tomorrow, don't start Friday. I want you to wait, I want you to be patient, let everybody else in class gather their supplies. I know that I said I want you to email me after you've come to school to pick it up. I still want you to do that. I need to know that everybody in this class has everything before I start throwing a lot more at you, okay? And don't forget, email me if you have questions, anything, questions, concerns, if you think I'm moving too quickly through a project, if you think I'm moving too slowly, if you think I maybe forgot to mention something, I'm only human. And this is new to me too. I mean, this online learning thing for both of us is gonna be, it's gonna have some hurdles that we're gonna have to jump over. But we are in this together, together, all of us. We've never done it before. Who knows if we're ever gonna have to do it again, but until that time comes, we will get through this together. So, happy day, Art Found.